Alright, hello everyone, my name is Adam Reapos Vox. welcome back to the final of my Ubuntu 16.04 tips videos. This is K-Ubuntu, or Ubuntu running the KDE Plasma 5.5 desktop environment. This is a much more fun, a much more attractive, a much more user-friendly desktop environment that is probably really great for Windows users. Now, I've already enabled a few of the effects that you have available to you, such as a lot of really cool stuff. So if I go ahead and open up uh, Instant Messenger contacts here. Uh, no. Whoa. My window's bouncing around. Wow. And if I close it, <laughs> fireworks. Now, that seems really simple, silly. But that, plus the overall just look and feel of this desktop environment, just makes me really happy. It, it, it's, it's one of those things where, like, if you're using a computer, you kind of want to have fun with it every now and then. And it'd, it'd be kind of nice if the computer actually looked nice while you were using it. Which is why Apple has sold so many products despite charging so much for them. It's that same concept of, if it looks good, you're going to appreciate it a lot more, even if it's not working right. So this is the same operating system that I was showing previously. This is still Ubuntu, but it just looks way differently, and it's a lot more user-friendly. It's got the taskbar at the bottom here with a more typical start menu. And you've got a nice little mouse here. You've got your basic system tray. You've got a clock, network status, audio volume, removable devices, battery status, instant messaging status. But then you can go to panel options, right-click it, go to panel options, and you can add more panels if you'd like. You can add widgets to the panel. So I can add various things, like I can add a calendar to it if I'd like. I can add a CPU load monitor to it if I would like. Kind of like X, but it looks a lot better. And then I have system information here on my bottom panel. You can do the same thing on the desktop. One of my favorite things for operating systems is desktop widgets which is something that they got rid of after Windows 7. But if you go to Add Widgets, which is the same menu we were just on, you can add an analog clock to your desktop here. You can add Activities, which is a different form of workspaces. Uh, you can add Application Launchers, so you can add a bunch of shortcuts to this window, or you get this full screen, start screen kind of thing, kind of like Windows 8, but it looks a lot better. Uh, and we want to get out of this. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Uh, add Widgets again. You've got a ton of different stuff. You've got Bluetooth status, audio volume, application menus. You can just add a calculator to your desktop and a calendar to just always be working. Blah, 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 blah. The calendar, same thing. Obviously, that close, uh, close animation would get kind of annoying after a while, but you can customize that. You can add a clipboard tray to automatically just monitor the status of your clipboard. You can add a color picker. So, like, if you copy files, then you're going to have a clipboard history here that you can monitor and go see what you copied. That way, if you lost something, then you can pull it back quick, which is kind of nice, especially for text copying. You can just pick any color on your desktop here. That's really cool and really handy to have. You've got add widgets. You've got comic strip generators, digital clocks, device notifiers, so you can see the storage space of whatever's in your system. We can add... There's a show desktop button. More clocks. A uh, puzzle game, kind of like threes or 2048. Folder views. Uh, hard disk space usage monitors. Instant messaging monitors. KDE Connect. You can actually connect to... You can get notifications from your mobile device with KDE Connect. That's really cool. And the Sticky notes. There's a lot you can do with it. Blah, 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 blah. And then you can... Do a lot of stuff there. There's just, it's a lot of fun. And that that's what I like about some of these Linux distributions is that it is purely fun on top of being safer than Windows and being generally, you know, you get raw and down to the operating system a lot more, you know, down to your computer a lot more. You, you, you don't have so many layers of operating system in front of you to keep you from using your computer. Now, I am running this off a live installation, so it does get a little bit glitchy. I'm running this from a flash drive, but... And otherwise, it's the exact same operating system as with normal Ubuntu. It's just K-Ubuntu. So I wanted to show this off and pose it as an alternative download for you. Link to it will be in the description below. Thank you so much for your support this weekend, guys. This is the end of Ubuntu weekend for me. Ow. I'm still recording this on Saturday. I don't know when it will be going up. But thank you so much for your support on all the recent videos. Let me know if you still want to see anything else specific. Again, I'm going to be migrating away from Ubuntu on the whole. 
but I wanted to cover as much as I could here this weekend. Smash the like button if you enjoyed, get subscribed, and check out the playlist for all the other Ubuntu-related videos. My voice is dying at this point. I'll catch you in the next one.